matchup. Because, man, if fight gets in, not or fun. Or even if you just, like, let him have his own space, mm -hmm. all of a sudden he's so much scarier. But if he can't even throw out a hitbox... Yeah. Oh, and, like, if you get cornered by, uh, by Ike, mm -hmm. that's rough. But we have Scorpio Nameless, what's becoming a classic here in some sort of finals. Well, Scorpio has been around for a little bit. That's true. But whenever he is, you can expect to see him and Nameless in either winner's finals, loser's finals, or grand finals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the, the Minnesota finals match of late has been Nameless and Sinibu. That's true. Ever but Scorpio is going to be like, nah. And in recent history, this has been in Nameless's favor. Mm -hmm. Just been able to show what a difficult matchup it can be. Yeah, I know. I, I looked this up, uh, and it was through the last season. I want to say that it was something ridiculously close, like 18 to 17. But uh, most of that damage on Nameless's side was in the last season. Though it is of note that uh, one of those wins for Scorpio actually came using Diddy Kong. falling up there. Yeah, that's right, the Dunga experience. So far, really even set. I feel like Robin is really happy with this kind of... If it's even close at this point in the game, oh, Robin yeah. is like, okay, we in there. Cause, you know, that checkmate, that's a way earlier kill confirm than anything Giddy has. It's like the only, like the main, if not the only advantage that Robin has in this matchup, but it's a big one. And you can say that about actually a lot of characters, not on? just Robin. Okay, you want, you want for fair, yeah. And that'll take stock one, but for Diddy Kong having, it's a very reliable kill setup, but it won't kill most characters until, you know, 120, maybe a little earlier with Rage. He just stuffed that Thor on. Oh, yeah. Oh! Ooh. Oh, that was gross. Oh, I'm not happy. <laughs> okay. I, I, can, I feel like I need to watch that one over again, too. That, that setup that he had for that there was so beautiful. I need to know exactly what happened there. But anyway, we've got, we've got both <laughs> of these guys on their last stock. And Monkey Flip putting in work in this last stock. This is something you will see in almost every match between Nameless and Scorpio if it's on Smashville. Just uh, Scorpio camping, charging magic. Resource development. I like that term. Because that's what he did right there. He's, he got he got the fire book, and then he got the sword right after, and I think the, the electric book is pretty close. Nameless has been using this monkey flip kick to get over that arc fire before it like becomes a fire mm -hmm. really well. Like I'm, I imagine that timing's tight. That intricate Robin matchup knowledge he only developed in Minnesota and maybe Florida. <laughs> Ooh. Again, it's actually not that out of, it's not that heavily in Diddy Kong's favor right now. Scorpio is a little a bit at a deficit, but Robin with Rage is terrifying. That Nostrati would have been huge, and it's pretty low risk commitment. Ooh, lost that book there. That's really unfortunate. Ooh, that was the electric book, yeah. Yeah. That hit by the late hit affair there. Tries to get another Nostrati, but okay. needs a down tilt. Ooh, good punish with that forward air. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he needs the damage from the Arc Thunder to make the checkmate kill at this, <laughs> at this point. Yeah, I don't think it would be quite kill but percent I don't know, yet. maybe if he shielded it and got the grab. Ooh, just trading the banana back and forth. It's close. This is a scary percent. Okay. And that'll do it. The tried and true down tilt to up smash. Sorry, banana down tilt up smash. It's important for damage purposes. And actually, yeah, that might have not killed if he just hit banana and ran straight for up smash. Mm -hmm. Might have needed the damage from down tilt. But Scorpio unfazed. It was very close. You can take it. Thanks. Right back to Smashville. Two, one, go! Yep, I figure they're banning. FD in town and cities, so why not just go here constantly? They actually both have a decent time at Smash or at Battlefield. Yep, but you got two neutral stages, whatever. Smash fine. Feels fine. 
And I know Scorpio is super comfortable on this stage, so for the uh, resource development reasons that we were talking about earlier. Goes well, for the air dodge yeah. read into the nair, but Nameless recovered high. Okay, trying to clip the ledge with down tilt. Ooh, Ooh that was so smart. Yeah, we'll do it. Look that was that. so smart. And angling both of the L1 hits different directions just to cover all that space. Mm. It's like we saw uh, Cookie Pig trying to fill space with Ike's Ether, <laughs> but that that is something that fills space. Uh, Elwin there, wow. Good recovery. Ooh, this combo. 33% out of Scorpio, jeez. And that would have been so much better position-wise if the platform hadn't been there to break Nameless' fall. Oh, he's fine. into it. Okay, a little bit of a stall with the charge. The Elwin book is flashing. Mm. So this is uh, his last use of it. Yeah, but he does that anyway. Yeah. And yeah, I gotta feel. I mean, I'm sure it, it really hurts deep inside to die like that as a Robin. But in that case, it just meant that he kept living for a really long time. Oh, for so, sure. You know, that's good. <laughs> yep, rolling through arc fire is the bane of most Robins' existence. Very good option, and it seems so counterintuitive for some reason when you're in that situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, no attack, but he's fine. Keeps losing these resources right into the market. Yeah, that was like four Elwin uses right there. So, so eight, really. Right. Uh, but that means he's got ten left, five full up Bs. Probably going to want to avoid the rapid jab. Oh, I don't think I've seen him bust it out yet. He used it once in the first game, but name was just kind of shielded it and okay, yeah. wasn't great. Jab three is a really good tool uh, position-wise anyway. There's the arc fire. Oops. It's interesting that our meta has developed here to the point where he doesn't really go for the Arc Fire at the ledge as much anymore. Yeah, it's that more, is interesting. more of a good tool for him to just punish people with. He needs his Leaven Sword back. There it is. Oh, back air! <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Good advice, get the Leaven Sword yep. back and then just hit him in the face with it. And the thing is, you know as soon as Nameless got hit by that forward air that he's like, uh-oh, mm -hmm. uh, drop mm -hmm. shield once. Survival. To the face. It's a really uncomfortable way to extend your arm. Like, back like that. Yeah, right? Yeah. How does Captain Falcon get so much power in that bear, you know? How does that man bend the way he does? Have right? you ever paused it, like, as he's going through his up tilt? That man <laughs> is flexible. <laughs> yep. Back to Smashville. Go! We are very surprised. Can you feel the surprise, mm. Jackie Phoenix? Surprise. Diddy Kong Rapid Jab doing things. Okay. Yep, big damage. And this is more reminiscent of what we saw against the... Ooh, Banana oh, yeah. just canceling. That is so unfortunate for Robin. Normally, items like that will just proc it, but that mm -hmm. just went through it. Ooh, I wonder if the hard toss versus soft toss makes a difference there. Very well could. Roast a banana. Ooh, I actually really like that option out of Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and he, he just missed it there. I think he's going for the same thing. And it just it gives so much more room for him to get back, because one of specifically Nameless's best aspects, if not just Diddy Kong, is that ledge trap. Mm -hmm. You can take that away, that's huge. At some point, though, the Diddy will discover that you're doing that, and you, you have to be careful using such a laggy move off stage against Diddy. True. You don't want to be spiked. Yeah, I don't want to get done good. Part of this looks like Omis Nameless hasn't is re-remembering all of the things that are actually punishable that Robin does. Yep. Retreating arc fire. Yeah, this is oh. a lot more arc fires than neutral. Wow. Yeah, Scorpio was in a bad spot there. He lost the Leaven Sword. That really took away his best anti-air. Nameless punished it pretty hard. A little bit. Yeah, that wouldn't have been. That wasn't the percent yet, anyway. I'm wondering if he, because you left the ledge, if Nameless and Air Dodge, you could have spiked him. Yeah, I think it, he was looking for something. I was thinking back air, uh, but you could be right. 
because it threw something out of an air dodge. Oh, air dodge oh. up there. Oh. Still less range than Ness's. Mm -hmm. Okay, Love Sword flashing. See if Scorpio can get the grab that he needs before he loses his Levin Sword once again. Okay. One more use yep. and then it's gone. Oh, can't get over the banana. And there it goes. Scorpio turned around ready yep. for the roll, just didn't have his uh, punish ready. Platform time. Okay, and it's back. Up throw up air. Mm -hmm. Nameless is always going to be perfectly content. Ooh. Ooh, that was an interesting trade. Oh, wow, he just goes in. Goes under it. And then arc fire, it looks, the trajectory starts way above yeah. Robin and goes down. So if you have that read, it's not going to hit any character that's not like Bowser. Right, short characters. I mean, short characters can get under that. Some of them can get under it just by dashing if you're close enough. So, yeah. Nameless up to one. Off a hard read. Yeah, short characters seem like a huge problem for Robin. I mean, obviously you have the duck under stuff. Like, that's right. that's the stuff that everybody notices. But also, you have the way that, like, uh, for Robin at high percent, just, like, searching for the back air is super effective. But when characters are short, you just throw it, and they're just like, nope, sorry. Mm -hmm. Goes for jab to Thoron. You see Scorpio use Thoron a lot at low percent. It's just got more versatility than the slow-moving Arc Thunder. Mm -hmm. I will never not be impressed at what Diddy's forward air doesn't cancel. It cancels almost every projectile. It's kind of ridiculous. Best sword. Scorpio we'll read the slash dodge. Tried to get a back air out, but it was just a little too slow. And it seems like Nameless has remembered how to play this matchup. Definitely. He doesn't have to be as oppressive as he was against Psyche. He can just kind of get his banana, wait for Robin to pick his laggy options, and then... Uh, the way he punish. used the banana to take stage control there was really good. <laughs> and as Robin, it just looked so frustrating because he's too slow to do anything about it. You have to commit so hard if you want to get rid of it, too. Ooh, that was a okay. really nice jab sending Nameless off stage. But this is a solid spot for Scorpio. Ooh. But then clap. Oh, oh doesn't he didn't have, have it. Nameless. Nameless the Levin sword. He did, he just didn't use it. It's flashing right now. Oh. He what? just must have oh, gotten. I always forget how that works. So the way it works is yes, if you had most recently used neutral air, unless you use a smash version of the Oh wow! Barrels. We live in though, both of them. Anyway. Good timing on that getup. What I was saying is that a neutral L will set it to Bronze Sword of Smash after the ledge getup will take it. But mm -hmm. and after that, you have to use a Smash input to get it back out. Okay. So if he had used neutral air and then has Tilt Sick, up Tilt will not do the Levin Sword. Getting the Rage cleared out there did make Checkmate true for Scorpio. Silver Linings. Huh? Oh, C Stick always does Levin oh. Sword. Okay. Yeah. So he must have done a tilt input with the control stick when he went for that up air. Mm -hmm. Alright. Man, you gotta think so much when you play this character. It's so messed up. <laughs> you sure you don't want to? Seems pretty, pretty thoughtful to pull banana and then throw banana. Though. Absolutely. Like, oh, that's that's such a good trade for Diddy when Banana <laughs> clanks with Arc Thunder like that. God. Alright, Levin Sword is gone. Got a, something flashing in his hand there. Yeah, I can't think of an option Fireball. that Robin has that's like very effective against Diddy Kong just monkey flipping across stage. <laughs> right? Like, goodbye. The little used Nair coming out there from uh, Nameless. 
trying to punish that forward air on shield, but that jab will always get you. Ooh. I'm a little surprised that he didn't go for down throw. Obviously, didn't have the damage. I kind of like. Oh, there it is. Gone. Game All five. Right. Two two. Game. Scorpio in good spirits. Nameless just kind of laughing it off. I don't think he's actually leaning on the pole, but his hair looked like it was. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Uh, Nameless has to feel like he had the set one there, though. You know? And you can't ever think, and oh, I've got this against Robin. Five. On Smashville? What? I'm sorry, was I supposed to have a reaction to that? No, that's good. That's fine. Running for Arcfire. People who get hit by Arcfire often are like, oh, it's such a bad move. Mm -hmm. Or such a good move. And then you watch that happen. Oh, no. I, I think when you play a Robin that is at any level lower than Scorpio, that is absolutely what you should be looking for. Mm -hmm. They're going to use it at a bad time, and you get a gigantic punch on it. Grab combos, smash attacks. I mean, roll behind down smash for most characters is stupidly good against Robin. <laughs> what a quick 100% out of Nameless. I wonder if Ooh. we point that. Did oh. you just roll under that and low profile arc under, though? I think so. Like, <laughs> I think uh. that. Ooh! Gets the footstool when he went for the grab. Waits for the air dodge, but that's a case I of a good air dodge. Kill. But. Nameless new. There it is. Wow, never mind. Right, yeah. Fourth throw will not kill. Goes oh, to the, the DI mix up. up. And he got it, but it didn't matter. At least that looked like it to me. I feel like Nameless really does not want to get grabbed on that platform. Ooh. Just a thought. I'm a little surprised he didn't go for Nosferatu there. Yeah. He regains a decent chunk of percent. Again, getting yeah, a non-level version. Yeah, I wonder if he wasn't convinced that Nameless would be... I probably thought Nameless would shield it. Oh, yeah, but then you go for Nosferatu. Yeah. Did get big damage there. Back throw not right. gonna kill. Yeah, that's a little Snag the jump with point. that wow. banana, though. Man. Oh, the book's saving him. Arc Fire Book coming in clutch. And now. Yeah, Smart Monkey flip to regain center. Back here, finally. And good thing just in time for Nameless, because I'm pretty sure that with Rage would have made checkmate yeah, reasonably sure. close to killing. Yeah, Scorpio did put on some really important damage in that time after he looked that first back throw, though, so. We live in. Oh, wow. Great DI from Nameless. I thought he might have DI'd into the point where he was going to die off the top, but not quite. But the switch there is so difficult to make. Oh! That, that comboed. Oh, my God. Three steps ahead. Jesus. The arc fire hit the re grab just up enough so that would hit the book. Right. And he knew. He threw the book uh, before Nameless grabbed that. the ledge. I mean, you usually see him doing that with um, Thoron instead of a book. But like, it's obvious when he has Thoron charged that he's gonna be looking for something like that. It's a little less obvious when he's got that book in hand and maybe he just hasn't been paying enough attention, oh, you know? He threw the banana through the peanuts, re-caught it with Thor nice. But the other thing with Thoron is like, it comes down with him, so it's gonna hit him no right, matter what. Yeah, yeah. He timed that book, he threw it before Nameless grabbed on. It was mm -hmm. such a good, good placement. And it would've covered, it would've covered a jump off too, I believe, even if he hadn't been hit off by the arc, uh, the arc fire. Scorpio clearly not phased by that first stock. Seriously, and now we got a really scary percent for Nameless. He's definitely not gonna want to get hit by magic. Nope. Coven Sword still fresh. He's out of, he might have just gotten the electric book back, but he had lost it just a few seconds ago. Okay, that's a great trade for Scorpio. Just looking for a grab at this point for Scorpio. Okay, he's gonna go for Thorin. Does he have Arc Thunder? There it is. Yeah, it's on. Wow. Scorpio keeping it composure. He played so solid. 
played so solid there at the end. I wonder if to a point, being down early helps Scorpio out in mindset. Like it makes mm -hmm. Nameless comfortable, makes him think he's got it. And Scorpio's just like, nah, bruh. Uh, do we have a replay coming in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so he knows it's, oh, no, he knows it's, yeah. it's going to hit because of re-grab. Okay. Yeah, let's it was go. So good. And he knows that the last hit is the biggest. Wait, but he just got that book off the last arc fire that he you, that he threw. Yeah, Ooh. I didn't catch that. I thought he had the thunder book. The timing, though. Yeah. Oh, that's that's amazing. So I said three steps ahead.